One of the things that you can do with this lavender, right before a child goes to sleep, you can put a drop on your hand and then just touch the pillow or blanket or where their head goes and it just does wonderful things to, uh, to calm them down. You can apply it immediately to any type of bug bite, sting, or anything like that. And uh, it does a great thing to reduce the irritation of, uh, of a bug bite, okay? Really good. Now, remember this little legend means that you can use it aromatically, you can use it topically, you can use it internally, or you can use it, what does that stand for? Neat. Neat. You I'm can going. use it straight up. Okay, so that's one of the great things. So the next time there's some type of restless situation, I have a lady that tells me they use lavender in a diffuser for group counseling at her rehab center. Um, another person told me that they're doing some experiments right now with prisoners and lavender and letting them have that smell in hallways down the prison. Um, Hilton Hotel just bought these diffusers so that they could put them in some of their business centers and stuff like that. Uh, gyms and, and spas and spa centers. Uh, Hilton Hotel also has bought them and our oils to, to use in common areas. I wish that the airports would use these types of things. I think when you have so many people in an airplane, putting some things in, a, in, in there to uh, clean the air would be a wonderful thing. So anyway, this is lavender. Did you all get a chance to try lavender? You smell it? You smell that purity? Remember, this is good enough to eat. It's, it's a really, really top quality brand of uh, essential oil. Let's move to lemon here. What I want you to remember is that lemon cleans and freshens. Its biggest benefit is that it is a bactericide. It can kill germs. And so people today are adding a drop to honey and to soothe the dry, uh, dry sore throat. They're diffusing in the room to neutralize germs and odors. Um, I even have people that tell me I'm putting five drops in an old Windex bottle with pure distilled water and I'm using it to, to clean and, and desanitize my countertops, my toilet seats, my garbage cans, and all, all types of things to use it naturally as a cleanser at home, okay? Now, when you see lemon today used in, say, a dish soap, do you think it's real lemon or synthetic lemon smell? Yep, it's synthetic lemon smell. When you see it today used in furniture polish, you know you go to spray your furniture and it says lemon scented. Now, we would like to think it's real lemon but usually that's synthetic lemon, okay? It just smells good. But if you, if companies could afford to put pure therapeutic grade, real drops of lemon oil in those products, they would work wonderfully well as a sanitizer, okay? So we could take internally, we could take a glass of water like this, and who's got a lemon, uh, just, let me just throw a drop of lemon in here. And to give you an example, when you put a drop of lemon in a glass of ice water, like this, you know, they say that lemon doesn't, lemon and oil don't mix. They'll always separate. Well, it's really interesting that when you're using a pure oil, it'll fog up the glass and, and it'll dissipate very well. And then when you drink it, immediately you can taste the lemon. So. These therapeutic grade of lemon, I even have people today that are telling me, I quit asking for lemon with my ice water in the restaurant. Now I just carry my lemon bottle with me and I ask for ice water and put my own lemon because I know that I don't want to be worried about who touched it, who cut it, and what they were cutting before they touched my lemon rind and that type of thing. So now they're doing it, carrying their own lemon and doing it that way. Um, Lemon is a wonderful, wonderful detoxifier. It does great things to detoxify livers and pancreases and kidneys and organs. So if a person takes two or three drops of this lemon and puts it in their water every day, they're going to find that they're doing their body a wonderful service. One drop of this lemon oil is 50 times, it's like 50 tea bags 
That's how strong one drop of this lemon is. Okay? So you really don't realize the concentration of what it takes. It takes many, many, many pounds of lemon rinds to make this little five milliliter bottle of lemon, much less a 15 milliliter bottle of lemon. Okay? So there's many benefits, but the one thing I want you to remember is that it can clean. It is a bactericide. It can clean things. So if you had to do without chemicals in your home and wanted to do without all the products underneath your sink today, you literally could make products just with lemon and, uh, and keep your home free from chemicals and free from germs at the same time. Okay, we did pass the lemon around, everybody had a chance to test it. Let's try peppermint now. Here's the benefit to peppermint. Peppermint is a wonderful product for cooling. It's a cool product, and I mean it has the capability of changing your temperature. I always ask people, what would you do if you had a child whose temperature went off the chart, scared you to death, it's at 103 and climbing? What would you do? You're a new mom, what would you do? Tylenol and Motrin. Ty Tylenol and Motrin. That's what most people are taught today. What would you do, sir? Yes. Same thing. What would you do? I'd throw the back of my neck. Oh, <laughs> there's the smart young man right there. He'd put it on the back of his neck. Well, that's exactly right. You, uh, you take peppermint, a couple of drops, and put it right on the back of your neck. Now, here's what's amazing. When you have a high temperature and your body's hot, I found out the other day that marathon runners, they're putting two or three drops of peppermint in a spray bottle on their bike, and while they're riding, they just spray them spritz of their body, and it cools their body down, okay? I talked to a lady the other night, she said, I leave a little bottle of peppermint, uh, she called it a, uh, some kind of a spritzer. She said, I leave a spritzer of peppermint on my bedstead because I'm going through menopause. <laughs> and when I get a hot flash, I just spray peppermint water on me and it cools me down. Well, I found out that what truck drivers are doing today is they're taking peppermint and they're opening up a peppermint and they're uh, putting it on their nose and you know, just putting it a drop in their hand and breathing it in order to stay invigorated or awake. It just kind of brightens them up. It just makes them... So there's some really wonderful things that you can do with peppermint. Uh, when you inhale it, it will actually invigorate your lungs and it increases your alertness because you know what it really is doing? It's making you take a bigger deep breath. And guess what you're taking in your body when you take be bigger breath? More what? More oxygen. More oxygen, exactly. So when you take in more oxygen, you tend to feel better. Guess what else kills germs? Oxygen. Okay? So if you've got something starting and you take in more oxygen, you're going to automatically feel better. Alright? So that's kind of a neat thing. Um, you can also apply lavender. You can use some double like oils like lavender and peppermint. Maybe you have stress headache. You want to take away the headache and you want to calm the stress at the same time. So you can use these oils and double them up. That's called synergy when you put them together like that and make them work. 